Welcome to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games. Today we're going to play a business strategy game called Gazillionaire. Now this is a demo, but the main difference between the full version of the demo is the turn limit, so, so I can so I'll be able to show you off a lot of the features in the game. Welcome to Gazillionaire. For the first time in 700 years, Emperor Dreadnick Colson has granted you and a handful of other newly formed trading companies permission to operate inside the Kukubin colonies. As the president of a trading company, you must make a profit transporting essential commodities between the seven planets of Kukubia. Your goal is to build a trade empire by investing in larger ships, buying versus, and skillfully outmaneuvering your competitors. So let's start a new game. We're going to be playing as, a, let's say... Yeah, we click on a beginner. I, I was going to just like read about it, but it just, apparently that was the choice. We have one human player, everybody else is a computer. And we can just have these kind of fun, or we can click on randomizing plans. Let's randomize the planets. Let's go with, go with this, for example. It doesn't really matter. Go with this. I like this notch planet on the left. And the graphics in the game are a bit, let's say, unique. But I really like the strategy part of it, because it's, it's really fun. So these are our competitors. The Hofmeister is ruthless and aggressive. It looks pretty interesting. Naive startup, Puffer Inc. Quite like that. Now, my company is Samstra Gold Factory. <laughs> That's the name of our company, Samstra Gold Factory. <laughs> Let's go. Now, we can pick on a spaceship. Now, each spaceship is a little bit different. So, a spaceship has, it costs a certain amount of money. Let me just lower the volume. So each ship has a certain amount of money it costs, then it has some sort of like a weight and um, space for people. So this one has space for seven people and 80 ton cargo bay, which is not bad, but let's check out some of the others. For example, this one has 100 cargo bay and a space for no people, it seems. Actually, six people. How about this? Five people, 110 cargo. Let's go with this. I like it. I like it. And it costs a bit more fuel, so it's important to look at that, but we can buy it. Now, the ship is very important because while you can buy other ships eventually, it's not as easy. And you have to sort of get lucky with an event, so you might want to go with this. I do like the locomotives, so let's buy this one. This, this person, Mr. Zinn, a wealthy and somewhat fickle financier, generously loans you the 120 Kubers thousand coopers necessary to get your company going. However, you must pay Mr. Zin 4% interest per week. He wishes you the best of luck on your new venture and hopes you will never have to repossess your ship. Alright, so this is the first week. This is our competitor, so we all start with the same amount of money and off we go. So we start off in Stein and here we can see the net worth of each company and the market strength. And that's really interesting just yet. Now we have ended up in Stai, which is our very first planet. There are quite a lot of things you can do. First of all, you want to pick up all the passengers. Now, the passenger seems to be willing to go wherever you want to go. We currently have three people who want to join. We have cap capacity for five. Now, how do you get more passengers? Well, there are two ways. First of all, you could lower the ticket price. So, for example, if we think the thousand may be too high, we might want to say, you know what? From now on, we'll just only, it's only going to cost 900 and the next turn we can get um, more people. Alternatively, we can advertise for next planet. So we can advertise for two different things. You can advertise for passengers. Essentially, it means that I'll pay 1000 to get more people on the next planet where I'm going to. Or you can advertise for commodities, which means that there will be more commodities available. Which brings me to the second thing, which is commodities. So... On each fund, you have certain things you can buy. You can see them on the left, like, for example, umbrellas or cryptoons. You can see the current market price and the price range. So, for example, we can see that moon fans are super cheap. They cost 35 but the normal range is from 30 to 120 Also, whipped cream is very cheap. It's on the lowest possible price. So let's buy as much whipped cream as we can and also as much moon ferns as we can. Now, we don't actually have any more money to buy more moon ferns. We only have 15 cash left. So we've got a couple of options here. We can either borrow more money or we can um, just like not buy any more. Okay. And we've got uh, 5, 11 moon ferns and 52 whipped cream. Now, like I said, we can borrow more money. So let me actually check, show it off to you. So we can borrow more money at 
it's kind of a loan, which is like with this random person, which is going to cost us 5% per week. Now, we do owe money to Mr. Zinn, but you cannot really loan any more money here. You can only pay back. He has a credit limit, and the way this works is like at the end of each turn, which is a week, you have to pay an interest, and if you don't pay it, it's essentially going to increase your loan amount. So you have to pay more and more until you choose to pay back. Well, right now I can't actually pay him anymore, but I could loan other money at the bank, uh, at the loan here if I wanted to. And I think we're going to borrow, let's borrow like a thousand maybe three thousand which is not much but it should allow me to buy all the rest of the firms i wasn't really calculating it yeah okay we've got all of it we still have some money left so we could repay it back but we don't need to other things you can do is you can put it in a bank to get one percent interest which is very low and not overly exciting you can buy stocks for different companies uh, for different planets sorry so for example here we could buy the sty um shares but you can see that the price of the stock is actually pretty high so buying it right now probably not be a good idea uh, then you can like i said do advertisement and stuff like that uh, then we can fly off to another plant to sell stuff which we'll do in a minute and then we can do some of the other things which we're going to talk about more a little bit later so let's check out the supply and we have mostly moon ferns and whipped cream and here you can see how much how often you get this kind of product on a certain planet so for example you can see that on pike there's only 16% sort of supply of moon friends, so they're going to be really expensive there. Whipped cream is 56%. It's probably better to go straight to Wax, where it's 27 and 31. So we would like to go either to Wax or to Pike. So then we can leave Sty and we can fly to either Wax or Pike. We are in Sty, so Wax, uh, Wax is actually shorter, so it's faster there. This distance determines how much fuel you use. So let's go to, I think Pike was better, so we're going to go further away. And there's going to be some events happening. Twin Corp 4 travels to pack to purchase new faster Corp engine. All right. So this is the next day. We couldn't have the lowest amount of money. That's fine. And we're going to move towards the next day. It's just telling us the market value of our company and so on. Now it costs us some fuel. So we can see that we no longer have the maximum fuel. We have a little bit less. But that's all right. And now we can go to the marketplace and we can sell all of our stuff. So we're going to sell all of our moon ferns. And actually, this didn't really increase much in price, but we'll sell it all anyways. And you can see that we made some profit on that, three and a half thousand. I would like to ideally repay all of my loan here, so that we no longer owe any to these guys, right? Because it has a slightly higher interest than the other things, so I think it should be okay. You can pick up two passengers, which is really not much, but we take what we can get. And there are a couple more things you can do. So first of all, you need to pay your crew. So you need to pay your crew money. They do kind of wait, so you don't need to do it like immediately, but you do want to work on it eventually. You can also, you have to also pay taxes, so we're going to do that as well. Then you can pay for insurance if you, you know, because there are different events, so some bad stuff can happen. And then you can explore a plan. And here you can either learn about like the weather, the news and things like that, or you can do a special thing. Each plan has a different special activity. Pike is home to Eltec, the largest engine manufacturer in Kukubia. While on Pike, you can obtain the best deals on a new fast 7 Corp engines. The cost varies depending on demand. This week, you can purchase it for 4,020 Kubers. How about it? We could buy a faster engine. But I mean, do we care? I don't think we care. We need the money to, to buy stuff. So what could we buy for cheap here? Jelly beans. Or... Well, the cryptoons might be interesting because they're on a fairly low sort of part of, of this price range. So let's try buy these. We don't have money for any more. And we only have, well, there are only six left. So I think we're fine with that. And uh, where could we go? Where's the, like, the best thing for cryptoons? Let's go to Nosh. We also potentially buy some polyester. Do we have money for that? in the middle of the range but it should be fairly cheap you know what let's let's borrow money again we'll borrow borrow let's say five thousand this time and we will buy as many cryptoons as we can and we'll also buy some polyester and then we want to fly towards what was it or it's nosh so let's go to nosh which is pretty close that's good an interesting looking ship all right, next turn, off we go, and we can pick up a passenger, sure, we have very few people, we should start working on advertising there. 
But more importantly, we can now sell for 478 our cartoons. Let's do it. And for 400, the highest price are polyester. So we made 13,000 of profit. So we can definitely repay our loan now. And we should also probably, well, let's first buy stuff at the marketplace and then we'll try to pay off things on the other place. So we would like to take a lot of babel seeds. So we bought everything we could. And what else is fairly cheap here? I guess hair tonic. Yeah, let's buy hair tonic. We want to sell hair tonic and babel seeds. Where could we do that? Hair tonic is on pike and so are babel seeds. So let's go back to pike. We could sort of be trolling between pike and nosh. And I'm thinking, let's try to advertise for passengers on nosh. So we're going to place the ad for a thousand. So essentially, if you get more than like, what, three people is the average we get, it's already effective because they pay quite a little money. We're also going to increase the price here because since we advertise, I assume, let's do 1,100, we should be able to get the five people we need. And we could also explore the planet. Nosh is the fuel depot of Kukubi, and here that Zobrok, a big time wholesaler, is selling fuel at 25% off the retail price. In other worlds, Zobrok is selling fuel at 388 cubers per ton, while most other distillers are selling at 521. Yeah, let's fill up. Absolutely. Let's do it. We saved 1000 kubars, and now we should be full on fuel. We'll pay all our taxes. And do we pay our crew? I don't have enough money. We cannot pay partially. Okay. So either way, let's now fly off to, where was it? Pike. Let's go to Pike. Back to Pike, off we go. We want to sell all our stuff and pay our crew so it doesn't end up being like super unhappy or something. So, we yeah, still only have three passengers actually, so that's not great. I don't think the advertisement was worth it. Let's sell everything we have. So for 334, we can sell our tonic and for 225, our Babel C. Seeds. We made 16,000. We'll pay off our crew. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can't again. We, we still have 18,000 left. That's good. And we could buy. Oof. Lava lamps? Lava lamps are fairly cheap. Now let's buy polyester first. And then lava lamps. Lava lamps and polyester. We still have space. We could also buy umbrellas. Now, you could also, if you go to some some, some place and maybe you can't sell it, sell it off for a good price, you could also um, sort of store the stuff in a warehouse, which could be pretty cool, but we don't need that right now. Let me pay my taxes. And I'm thinking we could buy some shares in the stock market. So Pike is actually at pretty low price. So it seems to be falling. So let's buy some shares. Let's buy like a middle, like four shares of Pike. Paid 1% commission. Cost us 45 kubars and uh, it will be 1139 for the pike shares. So, hopefully, later on we can sell some stuff and do stuff like that. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Four shares, yeah, we've got four shares on pike. Now, where do we want to go next? Now, there are also different events happening. For example, you can at an auction, you can buy things and stuff like that, which is really, really cool, I think. So, let's go back to the marketplace. We have polyester and lava lamps and umbrellas. Polyester, lava lamps, umbrellas. A uh, nosh seems to be the or wait. Polyester seventeen and only eight percent umbrellas. This is pretty good. Now we'll go. We'll go to nosh. Yeah, let's go to nosh. Nosh. Yeah, we just <laughs> just keep moving back and forth. Hunger travels to bike to purchase a new fast engine. All right. The rocket transfer is squeezed by poor stock investment. All right. Getting for beat seat Nosh ahead of you and acquires a large supplies of hair tonic at a bargain price. Due to the glut of fuel in the market, fuel prices are falling. You can expect to see lower prices at the refueling docks in the coming weeks. That's good. Now, Pike. No, this is like all the companies. So we are currently we're. We're the worst. That's fine. That's fine. We'll sell all our things. Yeah, sell all the yeah. lava lamps and the polyester and the umbrellas. All right. Then we are going to. We should restock on fuel. It's pretty cheap now. All right. One seventy-five. That's that's pretty cheap. Yeah. 
Okay. Next, we could. Oh, we didn't repay the loan? To repay the loan. And we'll also go to Zim and try to repay maybe like 5,000. It's not much. Yeah, we gotta start working on that. And the marketplace, we could buy nothing overly cheap here, but I wanna move like without anything. So we'll buy the Babel seeds, I guess. And we will repay as much as we can of this loan. And I'm thinking, let's pick up all the passengers. We've got four. And they want to move somewhere where they have cheap Babel seeds. So, Sty. We haven't been in Sty for a while. Or Quag. Sty or Quag. It's just close. Let's go to Quag. We haven't been there yet. Because I want to do the special thing and see, like, what does the thing give. Discover a teal tree, a lonely breed of wild space oak growing in an asteroid. This tree begs you to take her to planet Hork. She can be reunited with her groove. It's been years since she was uprooted and she's desperate to get back to her native soil. Sure. Let's do it. The teal tree is so thankful that you're taking her to Hork to be reunited with her groove that she offers you to pay 28,000 kubars for her trouble. She insists that you are the kindest person in the galaxy. She knows the money isn't enough, but it's all she has. Okay. So we ended up in Hork. All right, let's continue. And we're gonna sell all of our things. Ooh, and we can buy diapers for very cheap. And oxygen as well. Let's buy all the diapers we can and all the oxygen we can. We don't have any more space, which is fine. We can pick up nobody, that's fine. We'll pay the crew and pay the taxes. And we should, do we have a lot of money left? We should try to repay the loan. Okay, we're lowering the, the loan now, which is good. Now, where do we want to go? Oxygen and diapers. Oxygen on pike, diapers on sty. Go on one of those, I guess. Pike or sty. Let's go to sty again. We haven't been there for a while, so we'll try to sell one of these things. In order to encourage you to use the warehouse more often, the Traders Union increases your warehouse space from 50 tons to 75 tons, free of charge. Very nice, thank you. Makes me happy. Due to a glut of fuel, fuel prices are falling still. Very nice. We are again the last, but that's okay. You can pick up three passengers, and we can sell... Ooh, we can sell our oxygen for a pretty good price here, let's do it. As for this, diapers are pretty good here as well. Let's sell all of it as well. We made 16,000 of profit and we could do stuff. How about we are on, what are we on? On Sty. Sty? No, yeah, not a good price to buy. I don't think so. You won't do it. Now let's do a special thing here and explore the planet. Sty is the financial capital of Kukubia and where the Traders Union headquarters is located. While in Sty, you can ask the Traders Union for financial assistance. If you're lucky, they may lower the interest rate on your loan, increase your credit limit, or raise the interest on your savings account. Alright, let's ask for assistance. The, the Traders Union officer says you can't possibly raise the interest rate on your savings account this time because of an agreement with the Imperial Council. Alright, I guess that's not gonna happen. So I guess we'll pay our crew and buy our things. So. Whipped cream, very cheap. No, exotics. We gotta buy exotics. We could sell this at the highest price. That'd be insane. Also, lava lamps. Lava lamps, exotics, and hair tonic. This is a really good place to buy stuff. I am actually thinking we could go to the warehouse. We could leave some... What do we want to buy more of? Let's go with hair tonic. We could leave some hair tonic in the warehouse. Like, all of it. And we could buy more because it's a, such a good price that I don't know if we can get such a good price again. We could also leave some lava lamps here. Yeah, let's let's also store some lava lamps, like as many as we can, and we'll buy a lot more hair tonic. Good. Okay, now we could sell exotics and hair tonic where. Exotics in Boss or in Hork. Right, let's go to Hork and sell uh, hair tonic and ex exotics. Because your company is struggling to make a profit and your crew is afraid of losing their job, 
They would recountly agree to forget about any money you owe them. Ooh, that is nice. I don't need to pay them. Supreme Commander Dread Nicholson grants you business an emergency tax break. This means you don't have to pay taxes. Everybody loves me now. Captain Lee, an expert and respectable businessman, offers to buy all of your tar cargo for 28.50.5 cubers, which is twice as much as you paid for it. Nope. No, 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 no. I can buy it for way more than twice the price. It's not gonna happen. This is not really interesting. Let's go and let's sell everything we have. On the market price. See? For 617, that's way more than twice the price. Everything. And the lava lamps. Let's sell all the hair tonics. Lava lamp. We have five. Let's sell that as well. So in the warehouse, we don't have anything. But then when we come back, we can buy the stuff for a really good price over there. We've got some nice money. We could also repay some of the loan. Let's repay 20,000. Let's do that. We need to lower that as much as we can. In the stock market, Pike is still in a really bad position, but that's okay. Let's explore the planet. Hork is the media capital of Kukubia, affectionately known as the Horky Wood. We have an agent whose job is to get your company free publicity. This week, your agent claims to have a mega media event scheduled for you on Planet Line News. You want to do it? Do it. You're excited to appear on the hottest daytime TV talk show in Kukubia. The only problem is that the topic is ruthless merchants and it turned out to be the villain. <laughs> Oops. Well, I think it's a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And you can click on the right top to watch periodic deliveries. Or you can click on the right bottom to watch AI Dungeon 2, which is a storytelling game. I'll see you there. Bye now.